What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. We are out here in the Bahamas on Se La Vie with freediver Steph as captain and her boyfriend Cole. Um, today I'm going to be in a red wetsuit. It's a three millimeter. It's going to be a little bit more chillier today. Um, in our, my last video I was in a blue wetsuit. That's my one and a half mil. So it's a little bit thinner of a wetsuit, but since we're going to be diving a little bit deeper today, I just want to stay as warm as possible. Uh, when you free dive or even scuba dive, if you get the ounce of a little bit of chilliness, it almost kind of just ruins your whole day. So you don't want to be cold underwater. Um, it messes with your breath hold, your enjoyment. Uh, you just don't want to be cold. So we're getting ready. We're getting geared up. Uh, I think Matt might be almost in the water right now. He'll be the other diver in the water. He's got a blue Cressy wetsuit on. And then Cole has a black Wahana wetsuit on. So we're gonna be going for hogfish, grouper, um, any type of open water fish, maybe yellow jack that are swimming by. Um, but you guys are gonna see what we see. So we'll see you guys in the water. Martin. Awesome. Boy, he's swimming right at me. <laughs> Wish all buttons did that. That button's probably never even seen a human. That's pretty huh? cool. I said he's probably never even seen a human. I couldn't help it, he charged me. <laughs> Snap off. Winner, winner, mutton dinner. That's a mutton? Mutton snapper. Yeah. That's a good one. I got it. First dive of the day, he just swam right at me. That's too funny. Alright. Clean him if you can, right, get some water in there. Okay. So here we spotted a big Heinz grouper, which swam right into this hole. Now I do not have a flashlight and this hole was a little dark, but as you can see here where this red arrow is pointing, there are what, what looked like a big lobster antenna. Now I wasn't 100% sure, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's a massive lobster down there. I think I saw a big lobster antenna. Oh, yeah. Go down there with the light. I think there's a big lobster in there. So Matt has a dive light, so he went ahead and dove down with his flashlight just to see if there actually was a huge lobster in there. I probably could have stuck my head in the hole and checked for myself, but I didn't want to spook anything down there just in case he went deeper into the ledge. Was it a lobster? <laughs> yeah? Oh, go get it, Kelly. Yeah, he's pretty big. Woo! It's such an awkward hole to get into with the current. Alright. You gotta try it. If you don't try it, I'll try it. Alright. So I'm loading up and gonna make my shot on this big lobster in this ledge. Now I'm kind of making like an estimated shot because I can see where the antenna is. And not that I wasn't confident in the shot, I just, I kind of expected the pole spear to like move around a lot more when I did shoot. So I was kind of second guessing myself a little bit. I think I might have nicked the side. I don't know. Yeah, I honestly, 
that flashlight. So now I'm looking down at my pole spear and it's moving around. So now I know for sure I definitely hit this lobster. But Matt dove down anyway and put a second shot in it, just in case it wasn't a good holding shot. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Needless to say, the pole spear on the right, the one Steph's holding on to, was my pole spear and the entire tip just went through the body. So this lobster definitely wasn't going anywhere. Oh, I, I guess I did get him. <laughs> I think it's huge. This is massive. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you did get him. You guys both got him. Good job. I know. I thought I missed him, but then he started wiggling. Yeah, it's cool. Massive. <laughs> it's massive. Dinosaur. The mighty yeah. old lobster. Wow. The biggest one I've ever seen. Holy moly. So, whew. let me explain what just happened here. So, long story short, dive on this ledge and a big old rock hind grouper swims out of the ledge, books it, swims to another ledge, and then Matt and I are diving on this ledge trying to find this rock hind grouper, but I dive down, I do not have a flashlight, and I see this part of the antenna is like this, right? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's a big lobster down there, but I don't have a flashlight, so I can't really see up in the cave. So Matt dives down, he's like, uh, yeah, there's a huge lobster in there because he's got a light. So I go down, I see where his antennas are because I can't really see his body because it's dark down there. And I just shot. And I ended up shooting him right here. Good shot placement, but I'm like, I don't know if I got him or not. So sure enough, Matt went down, shot him again. So we like put two kill shots in this beast of a lobster here. And wow, just incredible. I've always wanted to, to land massive Bohemian lobster and we're definitely doing that on this trip. Alright, so we're having a little bit of a tough day getting some fish in the boat today, but it's because we're exploring new territory that we haven't been to yet. Um, yeah, it's beautiful reef, but there's just not a lot of fish here um, from what we've explored, but we did get this monstrosity of a lobster right here as you guys saw and then i did shoot this little guy right here now this is called a porgy
honk mouthful right there. That's mm. oh, good. The pineapple? Mm. Pineapple. Mm. Pineapple and mango. Good job, Cole. Thank you. Good job, Steph, for chopping up the veggies. <laughs> We're gonna get right back to the video, but first I wanna give a huge shout out to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs. And they are conveniently shipped right to your door. Now Helix Sleep knows that everyone's different, so they made a sleep quiz to find the perfect mattress for you, based on your preferences, your body type, and the way you sleep. So personally, I am a stomach sleeper and a side sleeper, so my perfect fit was like a medium, not too soft and not too hard, which is perfect. I've been sleeping on this mattress for the past two months now, two and a half months, and I absolutely love it. The best part about all of this is Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. And if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night guarantee sleep trial. So you'll get more than three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a entirely full refund. Helix Sleep also has a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and also flexible payment plans. Now, I love my Helix mattress and I know my dog Finley loves it too. He sleeps with me every single night. He refuses to get in his own dog bed. <laughs> but if you guys want a new mattress or are looking for a new mattress or want a more comfortable mattress, you guys can go in the link in the description below this video or go to helixsleep.com slash kellyyoung to save up to $200 off your next mattress. Plus it comes with two free pillows. We're about to weigh this mumbo jumbo lobster that we have. Cole, what's your guess? I'm saying nine pounds. Nine pounds? Steph? I'm saying 8.7. 8.7? You under. I was gonna go for eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. Uh, it's going over. I'm gonna say... 10 pounds. I know, I kind of want to lift it up again. <laughs> yeah, lift it up first, then guess. Lift it. Hold on, I want to lift Let's it before see. I yeah. guess. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, I'm gonna stick with my eight. Either. Yeah. Mmm. I might go 9.2. I was literally gonna say 9.2. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Really squeezing me in there. I got like 0.2. <laughs> Alright, hold on. 9.25. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, I'm thinking about a 10 pound weight. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, I'm gonna say 9.7. All right. 9.7. Well, my highest attempt. You want to hold? It's pretty, you got it? Let's you see. got it? I'll go 10 pounds, because y'all are scared. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, no, Chris monster. said 10 pounds. Here, hold that for a sec, please. Yeah. All right, fine. let's see what how we got. How should I, how should I? We can just try to through the mouth. Without falling overboard. Yeah. How do we do this? Well, put them back through the hole. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Wait. Pivot. Hold on. Oh. No. <laughs> no way. What is it? 7.4. 7 oh, Wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold There's on. no way. There's no way. What? 7.4? There's no 7. way. 7. Oh, Hold on. Drop it for a second. Let me. I need to start lifting more weights. I know. <laughs> no way. There's no <laughs> way. That's definitely an eight pounder for sure. There's what? no way. 7.7, 7.4, 7.7. 7. It feels so much heavier. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I guess we were off time. a little bit. One more time. Down a second. Yeah. Okay, tar it. One more time. Okay, go ahead. Let me move this. I feel like this thing is right here is causing it. This is what we're going with. We're going to okay, come go up with little things. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yes. yep. Excuses. <laughs> little excuses. Oh, my. Okay. All right. 6.72. <laughs> it's even lighter now. <laughs> hold on. Dang, hold so we're going to say seven on. and a half pounds. Yeah, we're saying, let's say 7.7. 7. 7. I can't Dang. 
7.7 pounds. What? Well, looks okay, like I, I did. You did win. I did win. It totally felt like a yeah, nine, 7. nine pound 7. monster. Dang. So How is only, that only seven pounds? That's crazy. So That's not crazy. only did I do good on the first comp, <laughs> and I did good on filet, and then I guessed right. You did awesome. Yes. <laughs> Matt, you're, you're Team winning. Matt. Team I gotta Matt. go do the lottery. Yeah, you're there you winning. go. I'm gonna use this bucket. Well, <clears throat> but when we tell stories, that was totally a ten pound lobster. Totally a ten pound lobster. <laughs> we shouldn't have waited. <laughs> Dude, that that's very much. We got more ceviche. Huh? We got more ceviche now. Yeah. Nice yellow jack. Huh? Nice yellow jack. I saw you when your subtitle wasn't on. And I, I wanted know. you to get it, but I was like, we need the yellow jack. No, no, no. I was like, get it, get it. <laughs> So we gave the reef a little break and we decided to dive on these like sand flats and as soon as we jump in we see this random golf cart in the middle of nowhere. Like what are the odds of that? The current is ripping. I mean like we couldn't even swim back to that golf cart as you guys see there because it's probably going about five knots, six knots. Pretty fast current. As you can see, the boat drifting on top. So that was pretty cool. You just jump in on a random flat and there's a golf cart. You got one? Bob just dove down and got a cog. And ripping current too. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna swim over to you and get some shots. Here, I'll hold it. I saw you dive down. You were so far away. I was like, no. You good? Yeah, I had to push that though. You pushed it. Well, good job. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna hold it. Oh. Take out. <laughs> 
Such a nice shell. Wow. Yes. If it's okay, I'm gonna put this one back just because it's too thin, like it hasn't reproduced yet. Okay, yeah, no worries. Okay. That one looks good and uh, his looks good. Perfect. Herma crab. Look at them claws. Hello. Oh. Hello, little girl. Hello. To end our trip, we decide to go to deeper waters to spearfish. Now, fortunately for us, Steph and I are huge shark lovers and we love shark diving. So Getting a visit from this great hammerhead was such a special moment because they're just so powerful. It's kind of hard to explain, but I mean, insane interaction. This footage here is from Steph's GoPro. Unfortunately, my camera was having some mishaps, um, but the hammer got super close to her as Kelly! you guys can see here. Kelly, hammerhead! So like I said, we did have some camera malfunctions. I don't have too much footage of this spear diving session, but we decided to set out some flashers and see what fish showed up. Fortunately for us, some African pompano did. And you see right here, I shot one with a pole spear. Swim that way, swim that way, go that way. Good job girl, woo! Fish on! This right here was the most incredible part of the trip. I've been wanting to shoot an African pompano on a pole spear for a very long time. They're my absolutely favorite fish to hunt. And not only did I land one, but I landed two APs. Super stoked. Huge shout out to Cole and Steph for putting me on these fish. I mean, it was just such an incredible experience. I'm gonna go get the flasher. This one made me work for it, let me tell ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so sick. That was epic. <laughs> Way to be patient with him. Dude, I wanted to come out for air. I know you did. I saw you like think about it, but then he turned and was like coming towards you. Yes. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was epic. I just wanted to make sure the shot penetrated, and when I saw the shot penetrated, I was like, she's got this. It didn't come out the other side. It did. No, it did. Oh, it did. It flipped back. And yeah. and I'm like, 
we're driving up to um, a smaller island. We're going to go ahead and anchor behind it, stay out of the wind, relax, maybe take the dogs to the beach, and uh, just cook dinner and end our day. So this is day two. We got a full day tomorrow, and then we head back to Florida. like moon sand. Wow, it's so soft. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. It's all the parafish poop. Look how white our feet are. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Right? Ready to go. <laughs> yeah, well done. Interesting. Oh my gosh, this is the most epic thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Very good. It's kind of genius. Right? Pretty creative. <laughs> yeah. What is that? You said an AC? Something? I think you brought your lobster. You just need to find some wood. Man. Yeah, fire. Oh, you can get it right challenge. now. That would be dope. I was going to say, we could just throw it on there. Throw on the lobster, throw on the porgy. A little bit of rust for flavor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you Two girls it. and a beer. You hold it here like this, solid. Okay. Maybe down further so I don't hurt you. Yeah. Their yeah. hand. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll survive. Survive life well. skills. <laughs> Who needs civilization? <laughs> when people leave their trash. Oh, they said again. the Coast Guard surveyed the area, but right now they're actually gonna they're actually collecting firewood. Coal is all about this life right now, right? Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if you were just if stranded on the island? On the beach. Cole's over there and found fresh water. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping I don't step on any thorns. Yeah, that's crazy. Did you taste it? Oh yeah, it's <laughs> the rocks. Ah. Really cool. Let me tell you, you're so rock. 
She opened my beer with nothing but a metal stick. <laughs> Anything's oh. a beer opener if you're creative yeah. enough. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a well. Oh, well, it's fresh water. Oh, that's crazy. And there's a, where's the little Coast Guard? There's a rock right there, a survey. And there must have been like a little lighthouse here. Oh, yeah, because there's a platform. That's so weird. Crazy. Interesting. A little oasis. I guess yeah. rainwater? Be cool if there's little fish in there. <laughs> He's looking for us. <laughs> and here's this little oh, platform over yeah. here. B B O D. Oh, huh. Interesting. Yeah. Are you such a good boy? I, I love mama. you. I love you. Look at this. It's a little a nice crab claw. Yeah. This way. Come. It's so cool just to explore like little hidden gems like this. At least the rocks are pretty flat for me to walk on. Mama Dukes. I think this is limestone. These flat rocks, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure what this is. But this right here. If anybody knows, but I think this is limestone. Look what I got, Finny boy, look. Ready? Finn. Nope. Keep the stick. Good boy. Look at all these little escargot snails everywhere. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to get my firewood wet. Let's see. Oh, Hello, guy. But did you find something to light it on fire? I got my wood. <laughs> Good job. I know. You got a mosquito on your face. Oh yeah, plenty of bugs back there. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh my gosh. That's great. Come on, you think let's go. <laughs> you dropped one. <laughs> should we leave it or take it? We should leave it. <laughs> Cole is about the bonfire life. Yeah. Something about boys and big bonfires. <laughs> boys and fire in general. Yeah, it's a thing. Come on, Zeekers. Zeeky. Zeeky. Zeeky emerges from the wilderness. He's like, Mom, I was coming. Let's go. Go. <laughs> He's like, I was coming on my own terms. Island time. Yeah. Oh. I know if I got snorkel gear on and like tried to mess with him, he'd just spook. Yeah. That's cool. There's our little dinghy that we took from the sailboat to get on this island. Flex boat. Matt's over there swimming in the water. Watch out for tiger sharks! <laughs> Mr. Finn. This is Finley's long lost brother. They act the same. Except Finley's a little bit more cuddlier. He's kind of like, do you have food? All right, you don't got food, see you later. It's a Bohemian Christmas tree. <laughs> Do. You can't take full credit for this. Why? My friend Monty Magic showed me how to build a proper fire. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, Monty so Magic. Get, like super big and the flame just goes crazy. Monty and PG. Okay, you can throw those in the middle. Get those going. Not 
two porgy fillets here. I just gotta skin them, take out the pin bones, and then we'll be having some tacos tonight. All right, here we go. Cole has a drone in the air. Now it's got the lighter. Lighten the cheese it box. That kind of smells good, not gonna lie. Smells like jalapenos. Ziki's digging the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so Zeke's Zeke has it. picked his spot. He knows yeah. what's going on. You like it on the heart, Zeke. Nice job, Pyro Matt. Good job. Can't get in trouble. Zeke, you can't get close. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke! Come on, this way. A little bit further away. Come on. I'm gonna be mom. I'm gonna be mom. Come on. <laughs> Steph way. is gonna be mom right this, now. We gotta go a little bit further. Okay, oh, right there. That's good. Ooh, he gave you some lip. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I know he wants to sit in the fire, but it's not possible. He's literally pouting right now. Yeah. It is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Ben's still looking for that rock over there. All right, well. All right, you guys, this video is ending right now. We're gonna wrap up the day, take the dinghy back to the sailboat, eat some dinner. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out Freediver Steph as well. She's the owner of Sail La Vie, this beautiful sailboat here in the Bahamas. Well, she's in the Bahamas right now, um, but she has some really cool trips coming up for next year. So you guys stay tuned to her. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if I haven't already said that and leave a positive comment below and we'll see you guys next time. See ya.